What is up guys, it is Nick. We are back and in today's video we are going to be continuing Code Vein. So I think what I need to do is go to sleep in the room over here. I want to check what's down here real quick. So I can go to Hot Spring. Um, I'm going to go ahead and sleep first. Let me see what else is in here first. So there's just different beds. Door I can't open, door I can't open. There's a creepy downstairs area here. And there's nothing down here. It's just a storage room. Why is there like a hazy fog when you walk down there? Kind of weird, but that's okay. That's okay. Let's go to sleep, rest up, see what the next part of this game has to offer for us. Who gets into bed like that? Okay, not what I thought was going to happen. Okay, get up out of bed. <gasps> what the camera? Okay, well, let's head back out here. I'm going to try to talk to him again. If not, we'll go to Hot Springs and we'll, uh, we'll see. I've done what I can to look into your talents. And I've confirmed something surprising. Revenants have blood types that differ from those of humans. These types greatly affect a revenant's abilities. However, your blood has no specific type. Or maybe more accurately, your type is broken. Your abilities, and the fact that you have no specific type, might be due to your being what we call a void type. You were able to gain another revenant's power through a vestige, right? That phenomenon is unique to void types. Supposing you are a void type, there's a test I'd like to perform. Don't worry, I'll get something out of it. I'm going to give you some of my blood. If my theory is correct, it should act as a medium that will give my power to you. Well, here it goes. I was trying to fix my mic if you were wondering what the heck I was doing right there. Prometheus. Well balanced for combat, but fragile. Its gifts bolster dodging and parry. Ooh, okay. Okay, that might be the blood code for me. Did you go visit Murasame and Coco? They should be ready to do business now. Weapons and blood veils are vital parts of a revenant's kit when exploring. You should take another look at them. If you've got materials, upgrade and transform them. Once you've got that settled, talk to me again. And we'll continue where we left off. Okay. I've got just about anything you could want. Um, we could got something to sell. We could sell items here. Um, let's see. We have these lost shards, which give haze. So this gives six, three, one. Let me see Go if um. Soon. Let me see if it's like Dark Souls, because in Dark Souls, if you pop these... Yeah, okay, so you can just sell them. That makes it easy. I've got just I like about that. Any... Oops, Even the that's not what I wanted. Okay. S got sell items. Sell. So I want to sell all seven of those, obviously. Sell that and sell that. So these are an activator used to awaken dormant abilities in a blood code... A special mineral developed with help from the queen. It contains a small amount of the queen's blood and sheds a pale light after absorbing... Da, 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 da. Okay. They're, these aren't worth that much, so I'm not going to sell them. Eh, yeah, I think I just want to hold on to all that, so... If you want it, I got it. We have the i Concentrate... We have the blood marker, chemical light, glows dimly when the solution side is mixed, remains lit for a while. That's kind of cool. Anti-stun, icor coagulant, coagulant, anti-venom. I don't really think I need any Come of that again stuff. Soon. Actually, I should look at exchange. Receive items? Ah, here we go. So we need trading points. I don't have any trading points, but we can give valuables in exchange for trading points? I don't really know how this works. I'm gonna hold on to it for now. Come again soon. Alright, let's go talk to the weapon lady. Oh, good timing. 
I've got everything set up now. What do you need? Okay, so we can exchange valuables with her. We can upgrade equipment, so we can. What do you want to upgrade? So we can upgrade weapons, which is cool. I would like to upgrade the bayonet, but I think for the better would be better not to upgrade it quite yet. Which blood veil do you want to upgrade? Blood veil. This is I can upgrade my different armors. Can you actually wear, like, all of this? It, like, labels it under different stuff. Can't tell what it's labeling it under. Okay. Well, there's weapon upgrade. Transform the Which equipment. Do you want to transform? Okay, so this is how you, like, uh... You put elemental damage or make it, like, raw. Fortification. Alleviation. What's the positive to that? It's lighter. Um, that scales better. Ice damage, fire, drain rating. Don't quite know what that is yet. Blade gifts. Gifts? Hmm. Don't know what that is. Lightning damage, venom, stun, inhibit. It's a status effect, and slow. Okay. Same thing for the armor. Let's see. I've got new buying something. So, she only has two weapons for sale right now. She does have a fair amount of these. I wish... I wish I could, like, view this on my character before I bought it. But not a whole lot of options here. So, I'm actually, okay. for now, just going to level up. And uh, we'll go from there in the future so grab one level to level nine and let's go ahead and talk to him and get going on our next mission last episode was a little long so i hope to have this one be a little bit shorter not another 40 plus minute episode you remember that scene we witnessed at the vestige that kind of stuff happens every day here Silva has taken most of the humans who survived under his protection. So revenants are left to rely on blood beads alone to slake their unending thirst. But... Well... Nothing in this world lasts forever. The springs started to dry up, and so blood beads grew rarer and rarer. And the order Silva created by levying and distributing blood beads won't last much longer either. The world needs more blood beads. Only then can we strive for fairness instead of petty favoritism. That's why we've been exploring the Jail of the Mists. We're doing research to learn all we can about blood beads. But the miasma has been a real problem. It makes our thirst even worse, so our progress has stalled. Now, though, we have a glimmer of hope. Your power can clear the miasma. If you could help us... Well, we'd be drawn into a bitter conflict. Still, the truth is, we don't have a lot of hope without you. Will you join us? <sighs> Thanks. So, it's a done deal? <laughs> well then, from now on, you're one of us. Yakumo Shinonome. <laughs> I'll be looking forward to seeing you in action. Let's get right into it. Here's what's going on. We're studying blood beads and their springs. We want to know how and when blood springs appear, their cycles for producing beads, and the composition of the beads themselves. We've made a few discoveries. First of all, we found that there are tubes like capillaries running through the earth. We call them blood veins. 
And so far as we can determine, every single blood spring is located on top of one of these blood veins. Also, after comparing blood beads and blood veins, we now know that they are mostly comprised of the same substances. In other words, we can safely assume that blood springs always form along blood veins. And we think that means there must be a source somewhere, a kind of headwaters for the blood beads. Now that we have you around to clear the miasma, we can investigate the springs and follow the blood veins. And hopefully, find the source. Right? We want to check out the old city ruins first. Sorry for the rush, but we should head out as soon as you're ready. Alright, moving from missile to missile. You can move from one missile to another as long as they are activated. Note that this is not enough to have visited an area. The missile must be activated or you cannot move to it. Okay, so if you didn't notice, I did shrink the camera because, yeah, I don't think it, it, it doesn't, it's not conducive to have this be big. Uh, certain allies at the base will accompany you as a partner while you explore. They can use gifts to grant buffs before battle as well as heal you with restorative all offerings. You can also uh, heal them and remove their status ailments. Each partner has their own unique fighting style. So do I get to choose them? It was easier to expunge. Uh, they must be few real to exchange. Okay, they all just your exchange. Life is your greatest can I choose which partner? I don't think I can choose which partner I want at this at this point, at least. Maybe I can. Maybe I can't. We'll see. I'm assuming we'll recruit more people as we go, but I don't actually know that. Okay, so we need to teleport to. Um. Do I need to talk to him to go? Is something up? Oh, I can stop having him up. as my. Hold on. So. When I woke up at the... You going alone? I can stop partnering with him. I'm assuming I can partner with. Oops, that's not what I wanted. You... Yeah, I can so switch to him as a partner. I can't have him your as a partner. Your greatest asset. I don't think I can have her. Wait, oh, I, just I can't have her as a partner. Okay. Take care then. I doubt I can have her as a Not partner. No. Nope. Come again soon. Restoring vest, giving vestiges parts found in your exploration to, oh, will allow you to restore deficient gifts for the blood codes. It also reveals the hidden memories sealed inside the blood codes. What is it? Okay, so let's restore vestiges. I don't have enough materials. Okay, so we can't do that yet. Once again, another person to take exchange with. Okay, I'd rather take this guy than that dude over there. Something. I'm assuming. Okay. I'm assuming later on we'll get uh, we'll get more people to work with here. Is there a way where I can look at my current objective? Or this is full this is full blown dark souls where it's like where it's like <laughs> we're not telling you we tell you where to go and then you need to figure out your own way to get there. I mean that's essentially what I got out of that. So we'll see here. I'm hoping this is the right way cuz I didn't see a fast travel look. Okay, no, not this is What is the hot spring? Hot springs. Hot spring, you can view past memories, check the meanings of important terminology you've encountered so far. You can also retrieve half of the haze you lost while exploring without taking the risk of going to collect it. However, if you do retrieve haze at a hot spring, the other half of the un uncollected haze will be lost forever. That's kind of cool. So you can enter the hot spring. What does entering it do? You can look at past memories. Okay. Okay. Get out of the hot spring. Okay, well that's not where I'm supposed to go. I need to fast travel somewhere, I guess. But I didn't actually see where I needed to fast travel on the fast travel list. Because it said I had 100 percent at everything. And so... Do I just need to walk out the front door? Nope. 
Okay, so let's figure this out. Let me stop being stupid. Okay, teleport. It, they wanted to go to, like, the old city ruins. I can't tell... I can't... I feel so dumb. Hey, we're headed for a nasty place where the miasma... The miasma accelerates the thirst for blood. Wearing a mask with your ability to disperse... Okay, he doesn't so around. say... Is something up? We'll need to find three blood springs in our search for the source. Springs are always found in locations with missile. So, first we find missile, then expand our search radius from there. Okay, but... We can head out whenever you're ready. I feel really stupid, like... Is it really this difficult? Okay, okay, next objective, head to the underground from the missile in the home base and search for missiles in the ruined city. Investigate ruined city underground. Okay, so just any of them? It's kind of deceiving because it says, like, I have it 100% complete. So that's, like, the dece So, like, just anywhere here? Um... I'm just going to go to the first one, and we'll, I guess we'll explore through. I don't really know exactly where it wants me to go, but we can use the practice combat and just regular exploration time. Doesn't look like we're going to accomplish too much in this episode, but but we um, we did get through some of that dialogue, and we'll we'll try to figure out exactly what it's wanting me to do, and then we will finish it in the next episode probably. Because we're already 17 minutes in, because about 10, of, 10, 11 of that was dialogue, and about 6 of it was my own stupidity. Okay. So, let's get going here. What's that over there? Slaughter these guys. Trying to figure out where exactly it would want me to go. That's just death, right? Hmm. Don't know where this dude is. Probably should be practicing my parries, but I see something. That's quite valuable. Let's use it well. Completely missed that item the first time through here, so that's a good thing that I found that. All right, here, buddy. What the no pair? Ooh, this one. Okay, so this parry is a little bit different. So yeah, definitely. Hey, buddy, come out here. No, stop killing it. Okay. Can't even practice my parries. My teammates murdering. Well hidden. Fell, there'd be no coming back. There we go. I don't know how quick or how close you have to be for that back attack, but better be safe than sorry. Hey, you, you right here. Okay. If you mess if you mess that up, it's very slow. Oh, okay, you're just gonna die now. That's really hard to judge on this one because it comes out a little bit quicker. So if I switch weapons here. Oh, okay, I just completely. Okay, so I switched. Is it because. Is it because of the gear that I'm wearing? Because, like, when I was wearing this gear. Yeah, it depends on the gear you're wearing. So this one comes out of the, the sleeves. Where does this one come out of? That one's just the hand. You just parry with your hand. Okay, so that's something you gotta get used to. I did want to use this. This lowers my health by 87, but it seems to boost literally everything else. And so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I need to practice that, because I really like this armor that I'm wearing. Come 
Come on, swing, buddy. Or don't. One of these, one of these enemies, please allow me to practice my parries. I feel like I'm doing something wrong, but you know what? This cave probably opened in the Great Collapse. Wait, did I go that way last time and not this way? Hey, I see some. I have no idea. This terrain doesn't favor us. Can, hey, hurry up! Wait, would you attack? Really? I can't. <laughs> I can't even practice my parries because no one will attack me. Yeah. So this is just. Yeah, we came this way before. Uh, I'm so confused. Okay, so... I don't see anything. Actually, I think I might have saw something. Hurry up, attack! And you took too long. You're so slow. Okay, so... I see something that looks like a dialogue option, maybe on the entire opposite side of the, like, dimension... Hmm. Which way to go? So, I guess we're gonna try to go over there. So check for items. There is an item here. To pick up something we can use? Watch your step. I'm just gonna, you know, roll past these enemies. Take this. We're gonna get to this missile. And head this way. And then I think I can even skip this portion by just running to the ladder and going up the ladder. So that's what we're gonna do. A straight shot through might be unrealistic. Oh, but that is where you're wrong, my friend. That's where you are wrong. I don't remember do I have to hit that's climb, climb, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, go, go, go. All right, you, my friend, just figure that out on your own. We've checked the spring before. Yes, I know we checked the spring before. Okay, that's the missile. Probably should have rested at it to get my one thing it's back. Strange but... to see a cave connected to a building. Okay, so just following the same path that path that we followed before. we go. How did I miss some of these items? Okay, so we're following the same path. We are getting to where I need to get to, I think. Please kill the guys behind me. That's all I'm asking you to do. Lost shard. You did not kill the guys behind me, but that's okay. Okay, um... Yep, up here. I think I see where we need to go, but I, like, took the longest route on planet Earth to get here. I could have just spawned. The funny thing is here is where I think we need to be is exactly where I was going to initially spawn. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Let's just, let's just take our time. And, yeah, here we go. Activating missiles allow other revenants and humans to enter areas that you've explored. Try returning to a place you visited and you just might encounter someone new. Well done. Oh, you're exploring you this with. area too? I'm a merchant of sorts. I wander around selling valuables as I explore. The miasma has gotten pretty thin here lately, eh? I thought it might be dangerous, but I came all the same. I haven't seen a fellow explorer for a while, though. I think we were fated to meet. Take this map of the depths. I'll be around here for a while. If you want to buy anything, let me know. Okay, there we go. I think that's what we needed for the main objective. Um, we can trade valuables with them. If you them. have any materials from the old world, I can give you valuables in exchange. So I do have this stuff. Um, 
I have three of the gears. I don't really know what I need of this, so I'm not going to buy it don't right now. Don't hesitate to come back if you need anything. Bringing maps of the depths to Davis at home base allows you to explore different parts of the depths. The enemies are frightening and the exploration is tough, but haze and upgrade materials can be acquired easily. Okay, so that doesn't sound like... What do you think? This way? I think this is where we need to go. I think. Right here. But that map... Yeah, wait. Security feature, it seems. Is this right or is this No, oh, this isn't right. This is this is the very start. This is just a shortcut here that I don't really know why is here. Okay, back up we go. Go back up, buddy. Back to the top. We're gonna figure this out, I promise. I, I think I have it figured out. Like, I, like I think we're we're good to go. I think I like. We're just gonna come over here. I'm still kind of spooked that there's not a running button. Okay, did not mean to do that. Like this has to be where it wants me to go. It's quite valuable. Let's use it well. Like right, this has to be it. This way should lead to the old city. Victory! I <laughs> I figured it out. We got some souls along the way, so I can't be we can't be too upset. We did get a we did get a decent amount of stuff figuring this out. But I wish they would have been just like a little bit more descriptive because they you you're de you're not dead, right? Oh, he is dead. A map of the depths. Davis would be very interested. Okay, so there's a second map. So we have two different, like, side dungeons, I would say. I would guess they're dungeons. So that'll be interesting. I gotta remember I am... Okay, so there's that stairs up, and this is just a dead end. Okay. So I guess up the stairs we go. Gotta remember to be a little bit careful. I do. I don't think I took like. It's this way. Are you ready? Okay, so here we go. Got to where we needed to go. That's something. Expectations exceeded. That settles it. You are absolutely vital to our operation. There are more blood springs ahead, but the miasma is blocking the way forward. Do you think you could clear it for us again? Why do we have... thank you? <laughs> Why do we have to shake hands after every? We know where two springs are thanks to past expeditions. Let's go have a look at them. The territory up ahead is teeming with the lost. Watch yourself. Okay, so I know it's kind of a lame point to end the episode here, but we're at like 29 minutes. We'll come up here and take a quick peek at what's up here. That looks like it's going to be an immediate fight. Like, doesn't that... Communal gifts. Communal gifts are gifts that require the cooperation of a partner. In exchange for the great power they grant, they exact a price from their users when activated, and consume a large amount of i -Core. The price and effects of communal gifts vary by partner. Okay. So yeah, this kind of looks like it's maybe... I don't know if it's a boss fight, but it looks like it might be a big fight. So definitely going to save that for the next episode. Um... That'll do it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you have not. Let's level up real quick, and then we'll call it a day. So we can get to level 11. Almost level 12. Uh, do we have any... Yes, we do. We can pop one of these. Thank you. And we'll level up to level 12. And that will do it for today's video. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.
Cause when it's all over